Hello everyone, Ash here. Isn't it there will be no Sailor Moon manga reviews? I'll be working on that tomorrow. But tonight I want to talk about the games that are coming out for 2014. For at least the fall and winter of 2014. Gameplay footage is of Metro 2033, the Redux version. That which gives you, it's the PS4 version that gives you both Metro 2033 and the other game. So yeah, I was... Uh, Review Tech USA said to pick this one up. It's a really good copy, so I listened to him, and I'm d just now playing it. So I started playing it. Interesting title, interesting look. I know it's based off a novel. Never read the novel, but anyways. So yeah, this is gameplay footage of it. Anyways, the games of 2014 that I'm looking forward to. Well, my most anticipated game of this year that's coming out is The Evil Within. Yeah, I cannot wait for that game. I mean, that game just looks absolutely amazing. And uh, certain companies do say survival horror is dead and that doesn't profit. I really hope The Evil Within just sells like crazy and makes a shit ton of money to prove people like Capcom wrong. And the nice thing is, nice to see that survival horror is making a massive comeback. I'm so happy about that. Oh yeah, survival horror games kick some serious ass and I cannot wait for The Evil Within. That game just looks so sick and just so badass been just watching trailers from just like Jesus I want to play it looks so cool looks so much fun so yeah the evil within I, I can't wait for that one that's definitely my most anticipated game of this year then we have alien isolation I'm definitely very curious about this game I can't wait to try it can't wait to see what's about it's based off the alien franchise if you have not seen the alien franchise what's wrong with you you need to go see the alien franchise especially the original alien films if I had to choose between Alien and Aliens between the first one and second one. I prefer the original Alien because I thought that was a great psychological, great horror film in general. I'm not sure if psychological, but it was a great horror film in general. One of the best films was was a not one of the, not one of the best films, but it was definitely my favorite of the Alien films. I really did enjoy it. So yeah, I am looking for forward to Alien Isolation. I just the really it's kind of a cool as fuck concept, you know. You're trying to hide from an alien, and you just can't kill it. It's like you have to hide from it. You can't really fight it. So I like the concept they're doing with that game. So I'm definitely looking forward to Alien Isolation. That game is going to be sick. Oh yeah, so that's another one I'm really looking forward to. So Evil Within and Alien Illustration are definitely my two of my most anticipated games this year. My number one, easily enough, being the Evil Within. So yeah, that's those two right there are definitely two I'm really looking forward to. The game I'm looking forward to, Little Big Planet 3. Yeah, that one I'm actually really, honestly, the more I see it, the more I definitely want to play it. I definitely enjoyed the first two Little, Little Big Planets, and this one, I'm really curious to see what they did. I mean, honestly, I, I'm curious to see what they did with Little Big Planet 3. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think it'll be a very good game. It definitely, it's it's uh, one of Sony's, um, it's a Sony exclusive too, so... No, they always Sony does PlayStation. They always have really good exclusives. That's one thing. It's rare if they have a bad one, but for the most part, I've always liked PlayStation exclusives. I think they do a great job with them. So yeah. Now, there's a few more out there. I figure I'll talk about uh, Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. Honestly, it's like I don't know. I just have no desire to play it at this point. It's like I don't know. Do you guys have any like? I, it's it's a Call of Duty game. It's gonna be the same shit we've played before. It's like, oh, um, there's a new force invading the United States. We have to stop him, so on and so forth. I just I just don't care anymore. With the Call of Duty games, I've just gone to the point I just don't give a shit. I will admit, I did really like Black Ops 2. Surprisingly enough, that was a really good Call of Duty game. The last really good one, Ghost, was just fucking ghost was absolute shit i hated ghost truth be told i thought ghost was fucking stupid and this one it just looks you know it's just it's kevin spacey and yada 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 i i just don't care honest truth this this quality i just don't really care you know maybe if it gets even if it gets great reviews i'm still not going to pick it up so yeah call of duty advanced warfare i just have no desire for is that one see what else is there that's coming out Assassin's Creed Unity I've never been a big Assassin's Creed fan the only Assassin's Creed games I've ever actually played and beaten were Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed 3 
surprisingly enough, I actually did enjoy Assassin's Creed 3, unlike the rest of the world that seemed to hate the game. I actually liked Assassin's Creed 3. Granted, it was incredibly inaccurate to history and had a lot of problems there, but it was still kind of a fun little game. It wasn't a great game, but it was fun. I did enjoy it. The first Assassin's Creed, I really got annoyed with, especially the combat system, because it was just so mind-numbingly repetitive in the first Assassin's Creed. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of the Assassin's Creed games in general. And Unity, it's just like, I honestly wish they had waited to release this game. I really do. I wish they just said, we're going to wait at least a good two or three years to release, to release Assassin's Creed Unity. But hey, this is Ubisoft. You know, them being patient. Oh, yeah. Them being patient on Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, that will never happen. <laughs> yeah. At least one every year. It's pretty much like it's a Call of Duty of killing it's it's sass it's basically doing the same shit call of duty did at least one every fucking year and that's honestly something i wish that ubisoft and Activision would stop doing is releasing a freaking call of duty game and assassin's creed game every year and make something else i mean my god these people these companies just make the same goddamn game every time so yeah those two i'm not really looking forward to all that much what else do we have coming out hmm um, oh, Dragon Dragon Age, um, Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm hesitant with this game. Parmy is curious, but Parmy's just like so hesitant with this Dragon Age game because I really liked the first Dragon Age. Let everyone know right now. I thought that was a good game, not a great game, but a very good game. I liked the first one a lot, especially the story. The story was really cool because it had such a great epic feel to it. That's one thing I really loved about the original Assassin's Creed. I mean, Dragon Age had a really epic story that I really enjoyed. Then Dragon Age 2 came out. And, oh, god damn. At first I enjoyed it, but the, the game just... I never got the same epic feel with Dragon Age 2 that I got with Dragon Age. And it just it felt very underwhelming. The whole game in general for Dragon Age 2 felt very underwhelming. And it just was a disappointment. It was a kind of a big disappointment for me. So I was not happy with Dragon Age 2. I did really like Dragon Age. And if this game goes back to more what Dragon Age was about, I would probably consider picking it up then. If it's more, But if I find out it's more like Dragon Age 2, I'm going to be fucking pissed. I'm not going to bother with them. It was just like Dragon Age 2. I'm just like, nope, fuck it. Not going to waste my time. So yeah. Dragon Age 2. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, I'm on the fence about that one. Let's see what else? Um, they got a new Sherlock game coming out. They're making a Sherlock Holmes game. It's gonna be out. I think. God, I think it's already out right now. I mean, this it looks interesting enough. I'm not gonna probably pick it up, but it looks kind of interesting. I know there's a few more games. Um, there's one game I was thinking about getting that was kind of cool. I don't remember what it is though. I'm trying to remember what the name of it was. Don't remember by heart, but. There is definitely there's one that's supposed to be coming out. So yeah. Oh wait, uh, Grand Theft Auto V, the uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC version. Am I gonna pick that up? I uh, probably am. I'm looking. I'm actually to tell you, just really looking forward. That one I'm actually looking forward to as well. I think that's that one. Yeah, I know it's. You can get Grand Theft Auto V on the PS3 and 360, but I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with the PS4, Xbox One, PC version. I'm definitely really curious about what they're gonna do with that one. So yeah. But anyways, it's all the games I can really think of. Oh wait, uh, King Nazareth brought to my attention about the Walking Dead. They're gonna put the Walking Dead games on PS4 and Xbox One. And the question is, am I gonna pick it up? Well, if it's in disc form, I might. I have played the original Walking Dead. I enjoyed it. I got the actually I bought the disc for it, the PS3 version with the disc and everything, and it was it was fucking buggy. I mean, the game was just so damn buggy. My God, it was like I was like oh I was driving me nuts how buggy it got at times with that game and I, I mean it was freezing on me there was just so many there was just a lot of fucking problems with that game that really pissed me the fuck off with it wasn't it was just because it was a lazy port they could have fixed a lot of these problems but it was it was because it was buggy not because the game itself but because how buggy it was because I really did enjoy uh, The Walking Dead. Talk to games The Walking Dead. I did think that was a really good game. Really did enjoy it, except it was just so damn buggy. So if this one fixes all the bugs and it, it has none of the freezing or any of that, those problems, 
I think I'll pick it up then. I, I might give it a pick up if it's if it's not too expensive. If it's like sixty bucks, I'm gonna be like, "Fuck that! I ain't paying sixty bucks for that." But if it's a decent twenty dollars, that might be a good pickup. I don't know. It's a wait and see. If it gives you both season one and two together for about forty, yeah, that'd be a pretty good pickup. I might pick that up. But I don't know. That one I'm on the fence about too. But anyways, that's just a few of the games looking. For want to talk about tonight for the games of 2014 i'm pretty sure there's other stuff i left out if i did you're more than free to comment and let me know what i missed but anyways what are you guys looking forward to are you guys looking forward to the evil thin alien isolation or is there something else you're really looking forward to comment below and let me know and anyways this is ash saying so long i'm out good night